on the farm ke channel make sure you like comment subscribe and share according to food and agriculture organization report half of red onion sold in kenya market are grown in tanzania local farmers are trying their best to address the demand and close the gap although the demand is always higher than supply this demand makes the red bulb onion investment an attractive commercial agri enterprise. On today's episode, we see how to directly sow onion seeds outside. The farm covers an area of 130 meters by 60 meters, subdivided into shallow basins or beds of 1 meter by 1 meter and a depth of 20 to 25 centimeters. The onion variety that we are using is the Malbec F1 and we have 250,000 seeds to be sown. We let our farmer explain to us further the whole process from the land preparation to making the shallow basins to planting the seeds. Today we are going to learn about onion farming and we have a farmer with us here to explain to us well, how we go about it. So uh, like we said we are going to learn about uh, onion, how we place our onion uh, seedlings on our seedbed. So the first thing we did we plowed the land mm -hmm. and then we made the huge clogs into fine fine soil mm -hmm. after we did that uh, we we constructed these basins mm -hmm. this is our seed bed uh, in our in this area in our, our climate is semi-arid and arid so we have we cannot afford to water this these seedlings on a daily basis that is that is why we have constructed uh, this enclosed seed uh, this enclosed seed bed seed, yeah seed basin okay, it is seed a, like basin. a basin yeah okay and uh, when we constructed them mm -hmm. we added a, a little manure goat okay. manure goat and sheep manure mm -hmm. and then we made it uh, you mixed we mixed it with the soil mm -hmm. as you can uh, see there is, you will see some small pieces of a uh, sheep, uh, sheep, sheep waste. Okay. Uh, now we will go. Ab we will go about showing you how we are going to place these seedlings. And before before we go to placing the seedlings, mm -hmm. uh, you plowed using a tractor or just by hand, jembe? Or oh, at first we we called the tractor and. It plowed the whole land. Mm -hmm. This is where I also intend to transplant. Uh, when the seedlings are ready, I'll transplant them onto in the in this field that you can see. Okay. It is a big piece of land, about a half one and a three quarter. Okay. Acre piece of land. It is exactly one and three quarters. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's fine. And can you tell us, like, how they work? Like, did you involve the youths? Ama to a one person doing uh, the whole of this in the construction of these basins mm. I have involved uh, I have involved a few youths okay where uh, some have returned to school but we were four of us now we are just two okay. and me now the third I had other two youths but they have joined they have gone back to school today okay we constructed them with them together now what remains is placing these seeds Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, now, can you sh show us 
demonstrate to us how these seeds are placed. Okay, this is because in a, in a one kilo there are so many mm -hmm. seedlings. Mm -hmm. We we like uh, we hold them by use of two hands, mm -hmm. and it's like we are scattering slowly. And what we are what we should avoid so much is uh, we should we are avoiding so much this seeds not to come into contact in, with one another because when they are in contact two, two seeds are in contact okay. only one survives oh. so we like it's scattering but densely densely scatter them okay uh, yeah and then after placing them scattering them <laughs> uh, on the soil what next do you leave them or will you cover them uh, we will cover them with a thin layer of topsoil, a very thin layer. Okay. Because when it is deeply placed mm -hmm. in the soil, mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't uh, form that shoot. That shoot rots in the soil. Okay. Uh, it doesn't come out. Huh? Okay. And if I may ask, mm -hmm. now like you planted today, how long will it take? for the seeds to sprout? Take, they will take about uh, probably seven days. We will cover them for seven days. Okay. By that time they will have uh, come out in, the, in a dense population. Okay. And after immediately after watering them in the sev on the seventh day, mm -hmm. we will uncover them. So that we will uncover them so that uh, now they can adapt to, to our climate. And are you going to water on a daily basis? I intend to water twice every week. Okay. Even on this seed, seed, uh, seed basin. Mm -hmm. And where do you get your water? We from? have uh, our water, we withdraw our water from the river. You have a river nearby? We have a river nearby, but at some point mm -hmm. it dries up and we and I have a shallow well over there. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. That you draw water from? That I will draw water from. Ah, oh, okay. And then now, after how long will it be ready now to be transplanted? These, seeds, these seedlings will be ready to be transplanted by... They will take about one and a half month. One and a half month? That is... Uh, Six weeks, six to seven weeks. Oh, okay. They will they will grow on this seed basin, mm -hmm. and now by that time I'll have prepared the land mm -hmm. where I will we will transplant them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Onions are a favorite crop to grow. It's easy to grow once you know how to. Few pests bother them and the plants are forgiving and versatile. Since you can harvest and use their alliums at many different stages along the way. Not to mention, onions are the ultimate garden to table crop. Just about every killer soup stew, sauce or stir fry 
begins with the Familia Foundation. Onion farming is an important agricultural activity in Kenya. It's a versatile crop that can be used as a food ingredient, spice, or even natural medicine. Farmers grow onion for local and export market. Onion farming typically begins with the planting of seedlings in a nursery. Preparing soils for onion farming is critical in ensuring a successful harvest firstly you have to choose the right location as onion plants need full sun and well drained soil because they are susceptible to rot secondly you need to do a soil test so that soil pH levels should be between 5.8 to 6.8 thirdly you need to amend the soil by adding compost or other organic matter. This will improve the drainage and provide nutrients. The fourth, fourth point is that you need to till the soil to loosen it up and create beds for planting. As you can see, we have our shallow basins that we are going to use to plant. And then the last point is that you should plant your when planting your onions you should make sure that you space them evenly so that they have room to grow <laughs> Onions can be grown from seed, seedlings, or sets, and every farmer has their preference between the three. Growing onion from seed is easy and allows you to choose the exact variety you want to grow. For us, we chose the Malbec F1, and you can also start the seeds indoor or sow directly outside. Planting the seed directly outside is simple. You won't need to fuss with an indoor seed starting setup or have to transplant the seedling later. Organic market farmer says the best onion crop always start with planting onion seed as it yields the best results. <laughs>
When directly sowing the onion seeds outside, you need to, after planting, after spreading them uniformly on soil with spaces in between, you need to cover the seeds lightly with soil and maintain damp to promote germination. Once they sprout, thin to one onion seedlings per four inches to avoid overcrowding. Remember to check your zone's planting calendar to see if you can also direct sow onions as it is not recommended for other climates. Also, the seeds will take 6 to 12 days to germinate. Make sure you subscribe and like this video so that we can follow up the process together after 6 to 12 days. Like, comment, subscribe and share.